Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Freedom of the Press by Shashi Tharoor. Shashi Tharoor is a well-known Indian writer, diplomat and politician. He was born on 9th March in 1956 in London and his parents are Lily and Chandran Tharoor. Though he was born in London, he is an Indian because his parents are from Kerala, that is from Palakkad in Kerala. And he has written more than 15 fictional and non-fictional books and he has also published articles in many newspapers. He has served as a member of the parliament from Trivanandapuram, Kerala in the year 2009 to 2014. Tharoor actually started his literary career at a very young age of 10. That is, his first work got published when he was only 10 years old. And his major work is the Great Indian Novel, a satirical novel based on the great Indian epic Mahabharata. The Great Indian Novel was published on 24th August 1989 and this book has been translated into many languages. His other notable works are The Elephant, The Tiger and The Cell Phone. This essay, Freedom of the Press, was first delivered as a speech at UN's World Freedom Day on 3rd of May 2001. Later, it appeared as an article in the Hindu. In this essay, Shashi Tharoor expresses his sadness on the estimated 12 deaths of journalists all over the world according to the recent report by Committee to Protect Journalists. This is a New York-based independent non-profit organization. He claims that journalists are attacked, jailed and harassed in the different parts of the world every day. And he further acknowledges the fact that these journalists, who are really brave, have sometimes lost their lives for the sake of providing daily news to its readers. He asserts that this day also marks the anniversary of the Declaration of Windhoek, which is a statement of principles drawn up by African journalists calling for a free, independent and pluralistic media in their continent and throughout the world. This declaration was further adapted in 1991 at a seminar organized by the United Nations and UNESCO in Windhoek, Namibia, which confirms that free press is an essential component for the existence of democracy and perhaps should be a fundamental human aspiration. He emphasizes the fact that a democratic government is very essential for social and economic development of any country and for a democratic functioning of a state. Transparent and authentic information to its people is vital. Therefore, both democracy and information are inseparable entity. It is widely accepted that restrained information to its people has caused a lot to many governments around the world since the dynamics of information technology is ever changing. Global interdependence like electronic media and World Wide Web has greatly transformed the medium of information transmission where information concealed always leads to information exposed. Such change or rather evolution is fairly visible nowadays in the form of unrestricted ability to receive, download and send information to any person in any part of the world. Therefore, the developing countries must encourage free and liberal press functioning. He says that the same year United Nations is going to organize two major events which will stress the importance of free press. First is the World Electronic Media Forum convening in Geneva from December 9 to 11 which is going to bring together media executives, practitioners and policy makers from developed and developing countries to discuss the role of the electronic media in the information society. And second is World Summit on the Information Society which will be held in Geneva from December 10 to 12, 2003 with the second phase in Tunis in 2005. The planned draft declaration for the World Summit on the Information Society will be stressed on the commitment to democracy and good governance as well as the existence in accordance with the legal system of each country of independent, pluralistic and free mass and other communication media. He further confirms the fact that if the draft is adapted, then the world leaders will commit themselves to the freedom of expression and will guarantee free, fair and liberal information. He claims that information society or journalism can only develop if the citizens are provided with full information 
way by allowing them a full participation at all levels. For this purpose, the said summit will engage the media as indispensable key participant, thereby encouraging the stress and need of free press as vital to democracy and good governance. He hopes that the summit will also promote regional information society or journalism about local culture and in the local language because diverse informed information society at large is very essential. He explains the term digital divide, a term that refers to the gap between demographics and regions that have access to modern information and communication technology and those regions that don't have or have restricted access as not only deprivation of modern mass communication medium like internet, newspaper, etc., but also deprived of full information or diverse information which hampers the growth of the developing countries. Therefore, two concepts like diversity of content, information and press freedom can and need to go together. Tarur finally concludes his essay with a note that the new digital technology offers great possibilities for enhancing traditional media and this combining them with new media. Moreover, traditional media and especially radio and television remain the only form of access to the information society for much of the world population including the very poor and the illiterate ones. Perhaps he says the newest challenge for the United Nation is to bring access of information to people around the world and only then equity and equality can be truly brought to the information revolution and the world's poor and underprivileged will have a real way out of darkness that suppress their voices and their hopes. This is a summary of his speech. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.